Hello. Okay, today is March 13th, 2010. Uh, I was supposed to be going home from Haiti. I was supposed to be leaving Haiti this morning to go to fly home back to New York. But things change. As you can see, I have an IV in my arm. And I am in the Haitian hospital. Uh, it's unconfirmed yet, but they think I have malaria. So, uh, I got malaria, and I'm here in the hospital, so I'm not going home. Um, Tuesday. Uh, I'm probably going home Tuesday. It's been really interesting because uh, I've never had it before. And I just had this excruciating pain in my back, my lower back. It got worse to the point where I couldn't walk. And then I grew up and I had a high fever. Um, so I couldn't sleep at all last night. My hip was bothering me. But they thought I, I fractured my hip because I got saw on it a couple days ago. But now they probably think that that was just a sign of malaria. So I've been in touch with my doctor back at home and he's been communicating with the doctors here. Um, and it's been great. One thing I will say that everyone in the village of Bojan, uh, they, they cared for me. They, they kept coming into my room and checking up on me and you know, just sitting down and hanging with me even when I was sleeping and sweating like a like a, a boar in the summer. But it, it's been really good. Um, I'm, I haven't experienced that type of love in a long time. It's amazing. So I, I'm here at the hospital and it's free for me, which, you know, it's a bummer because other Haitians, you know, Haitians, they come and they have to pay. Um, but the, the staff has been great to me. I've been seen by American physicians, um, and there's one physician who's Haitian who's been with me, but it's just, wow, I have great people behind me, carefully. And a lot of the people in Ozan, really uh, sad that I was hurt. I mean, I, w I was in excruciating pain. I, I couldn't walk. Anytime I moved, I would hurt. I would cry. I was crying. Uh, I cried a lot. Uh, I don't normally cry, but I have not felt this type of pain before in my life. I thought I had fractured my head, but that wasn't the case. So here I am with my IV of fluid. They put me on a lot of medication. They said I was dehydrated. Um, my blood pressure was really low. They couldn't give me morphine. I've been, uh, I, I was throwing up all today. But I'm much better than what I was before. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who care. And they don't even know me. I've only been here a week. And you would have thought that I, I know I, I, I knew these people all my life. Really remarkable. On the ride here, it was bumpy and it really hurt. So the driver was trying to go as slow as he could, but everybody was in the van singing songs, you know, they were praying. You know, they were crying with me. It was really remarkable. I got prayed for yesterday. Uh, it was just incredible. So. I'm here just documenting my experience, uh, but I love AT and I want to come back, and God willing I will come back, and I'll do it all over again, minus the malaria, so, um, this is me, and...